IELTS Life Skills A1 Spells Visa Test. Okay. This is IELTS Life Skills A1 Speaking and Listening Test. My name is Angelina, candidate A. What's your full name? My name is Mariam Hijab. What can I call you? You can call me Mariam. Can you spell your name? M A R Y A N H A J A B. Where do you come from? I'm from Leia, Pakistan. And what do you do? I'm a student. What's your dream job? Uh, I want to be an economist in my future. Okay. And what do you like about your neighborhood? Um, uh, I know most of my neighbors, but uh, the best thing of them that they are very caring and loving. Pretty neighborhood. Difference. Neighbor is a person. Neighborhood means your surrounding. I'm asking you about the hood. Neighborhood. So what do you, in the neighborhood, maybe you have a park, maybe you have any place, maybe you have trees, maybe you have animals, maybe, maybe you have even people living there. Maybe you have a shopping mall in your neighborhood, maybe you have anything else. So anything surrounding your home is your neighborhood. I'm asking you not about the neighbors with an S, but I'm asking you about the neighborhood with a D. So what do you like about your neighborhood? Uh, I, like the, yeah, hmm? I like the park near my house. Okay, so examiner can also use the word near your house. Okay, you might have heard examiner ask, uh, talk about shops near your house, talk about um park near your house near your house means your neighborhood okay so um my next question to you is what do you do in hot weather in hot weather i like to drink uh, fresh juices and uh, i eat ice cream um in hot weather i like easy Breezy, uh, I like to wear easy breezy clothes in hot weather. What do you do when you go to the supermarket? Uh, when I go to the supermarket, I buy things for myself. Sometimes I buy uh, uh, some products for my skin. Sometimes I buy uh, things for my room and for my house. Thank you so much, candidate A. Candidate B, what's your full name? My full name is uh, Faiza Zaid. What can I call you? You can call me Faiza. Can you spell your name? Yes, sure. My name spelling is F-A-I-Z-A-Z-A-I-B. Where do you come from? I come from Islamabad, Pakistan. And what do you do? I'm working. Okay. Tell me about your favorite day of the week. The favorite day of the week uh, is Sunday. And what's your favorite meal of the day that you like to eat with your family? My favorite uh, meal of the day is dinner. I like the dinner um, to take a dinner with my family. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what kinds of sports do you like? I like uh, car racing. I like football. Uh, I don't like cricket. Uh, I like badminton. Mm -hmm. All right. And um, when's your birthday? My birthday is on uh, 2nd of December. Okay. What kinds of clothes do you like to wear? I like uh, casual dresses to wear. Thank you so much, candidate B.
Now, phase 1b, first candidate A will question candidate B about playing games. And then candidate B will question candidate A about outdoor activities. So candidate A, you only have two minutes to ask your questions from candidate B. Your time begins now. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Uh, do you like to play games? Uh, yes, sometimes I like to play games. Okay, what type of uh, uh, games do you like to play? Um, I like to watch uh, football or uh, uh, I like to play a uh, Ludo or uh, sometimes I like to play a uh, badminton. Do you play indoor games or outdoor games? Uh, I like or I prefer uh, outdoor games. Okay. So, uh, do you play games alone or with uh, your family member or friends? Uh, with my family member. I like to play with my family members. Uh, at what time of the day do you play games? Uh, in the evening. Uh, how much time do you give? Uh, mostly, I like uh, uh, to spend a time 30 minutes or sometime one hour. Uh, do you listen music while playing games? Uh, yes, I like to listen to music while uh, I play uh, games. Do you play games every day or once in a week? Once in a week, I prefer to play uh, games. Uh, do you think that playing games is good for our health? Uh, yes, uh, it's good for uh, our health. It's uh, change our environment. It's also uh, good for our healthy life. Okay. Uh, so, um, how many games do you play in a day? Um, tennis. I like uh, tennis in the daytime. How much time do you give to the games? Uh, mostly uh, one you. hour. Thank you so much, candidate A, for your questions. Now, candidate B, please ask your questions about outdoor activities. You only have two minutes and your time begins now. Are you ready, candidate A? Yeah. Hello? Yes. Uh, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Do you like outdoor activities? Uh, yes, I like outdoor activities. Uh, do you think outdoor activities is good for our health? Yes, I think outdoor activities are good for our health as it uh, refreshes our mind and uh, our. Uh, I think it is good for our mental and physical health. Okay, uh, with whom do you like to go for outdoor activities? I, I like to go with my, sometimes with my family members and sometimes with my friends. Okay, what time uh, you think is good for your outdoor activities? Uh, uh, in my opinion, uh, evening time is good for outdoor activities. Uh, can you tell me why in the evening time you prefer? Because in evening time I am uh, free. And uh, if I have to go with my family, to, so they are also free, so they go with me. Okay. How often do you like to go for outdoor activities? Uh, sometimes I go twice a week for outdoor activities. But uh, for gym, I go daily. Okay. Can you tell me what kind of outdoor activities do you like? 
yes sir. i i like uh, outdoor activities like shopping uh, like uh, going to restaurants with my family members and i like to uh, go gym okay that's good um, can you tell me uh, is hiking is a outdoor activities for yourself Thank you. Thank you so much, Candidate B, for your questions. Now, Candidate A and Candidate B, please discuss the topic special day in your country. Special day in your country. You have you three ready? minutes. Yeah. Are you ready, Faiza? Uh, yes, ma'am, I'm ready. So, what is the most special day in your country? Uh, the most special day in my country is Eid ul Adha. Uh, what about you? Uh, there are many special days in my country, like Eid and uh, Independence Day. But I think the most important day is uh, Independence Day in my country. Okay. Uh, what type or what kind of cloth uh, do you like to wear in Independence Day? Uh, I like to wear new clothes on Independence Day as it is a special day for our country. Uh, and what about you? Do you like to wear new clothes on the special day? Uh, yes, I like uh, a new casual dress uh, in my uh, Independence Day of the country. Uh, with whom do you celebrate uh, Independence Day of your country? Uh, I celebrate Independence Day with my family members. So why is uh, your special day your special day is uh, special in your country? Uh, it's our uh, Independence Day and we celebrate uh, uh, in a year and uh, it's very important no, day. But you say about Eid ul Adha. Eid ul Adha? Yeah. I'm asking you that why is that special in your country? Yes, Eid ul Adha is a uh, our Islamic uh, day and we celebrate uh, because in America, uh, all over the world uh, we celebrate uh, this festival uh, and it's very important in our, our Muslim life. Uh, what about you? Uh, do you think same? Uh, yes, uh, Independence Day is important because uh, Pakistan got independent on this day. So uh, we celebrate Independence Day on 14th of August every year. Okay. Uh, so uh, do you do celebrate it with your family or alone? Uh, yes, I like to celebrate uh, this festival with my family. Uh, and you, you like to celebrate with your family or friends? Yes, I like to celebrate this day with both of them, with my family members and with my friends too. So, uh, uh, is there any special thing that you do on that day? Uh, yes, uh, I like to wear a new dress uh, uh, or uh, sometimes I like to go uh, shopping mall with my family or with my uh, friend or uh, with my cousins. Uh, I like to go to a park uh, or any restaurant in these uh, days. What about you? You like these things? Uh, yes, so we uh, celebrate Independence Day by going out. Uh, with, uh, and sometimes we celebrate it at our home uh, by making dinner and lunch for our guests. Thank you. Thank you so much, Candidate A and Candidate B. This is the end of your discussion. Now I will share the screen with you and we will perform a listening test together. <laughs> Candidate A, from the first recording, what does the first person do? A teacher, a farmer, or a nurse? Candidate B, what does the second speaker do? In the second recording, a teacher, a farmer, or a nurse? Let's listen to the recording. One, task eight. I like my job because I really like children. They want to learn about everything and always ask lots of questions. 
Sometimes we go on school trips. We went to a farm last week and saw lots of animals. It's a hard job, though. I have to do lots of work at home. I don't like working in the evenings. My husband works in the evening at the hospital, so we don't see each other during the week very much. I've done this job for 14 years now. I love working with animals. I have to get up at 4.30 in the morning to feed them. It's a problem. I don't like getting up very early. There's lots to do, and we often have children from the local school coming for a visit in the summer. When I was young, I wanted to become a nurse, but now I'm glad I do this. Candidate A, from the first recording, what does the first speaker do? A teacher, a farmer, or a nurse? A teacher. Thank you. Candidate B, what does the second speaker do in the second recording? A teacher, a farmer, or a nurse? Candidate B, please open your mic and tell me, what does the second person do in the second recording? A teacher, a farmer, or a nurse? A farmer. Thank you. Now listen again and answer these questions. Candidate B, B, from the first recording, what does the first person like about her job and what she doesn't like about her job? Candidate A, A, from the second recording, what does the person like about his job and what he doesn't like about his job? Let's listen to the recording once again. I like my job because I really like children. They want to learn about everything and always ask lots of questions. Sometimes we go on school trips. We went to a farm last week and saw lots of animals. It's a hard job though. I have to do lots of work at home. I don't like working in the evenings. My husband works in the evening at the hospital, so we don't see each other during the week very much. I've done this job for 14 years now. I love working with animals. I have to get up at 4.30 in the morning to feed them. It's a problem. I don't like getting up very early. There's lots to do, and we often have children from the local school coming for a visit in the summer. When I was young, I wanted to become a nurse, but now I'm glad I do this. Entry 1. Candidate B. From the first recording, what does the first person like about her job? Uh, the children. Because the children, uh, he li she likes her job. Good job. And what she doesn't like about her job? Uh, working in the evening. Thank you. Candidate A, from the second recording, what does the second person like about his job? Uh, he loves to feed animals. And what he doesn't like about his job? Uh, he doesn't like to wake up in the morning. Thank you. This is the end of the task and you both have successfully passed your IELTS Life Skills A1 Speaking and Listening Test. Congratulations. Very nice.